Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. I hope I can keep your Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing some more Madden 18 Day 1 Sleepers. These are the budget beasts, the guys you want to go out and get that aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. I mean, we're looking at the top 10 running backs here, and uh, spoiler alert, Marshall Falk is an absolute animal. But guess what? You're not going to be able to afford them unless you go out and buy a bunch of coins on a website or go out and buy a bunch of packs. Um, or grind your brains out, you're probably going to have a hard time getting a guy like that because he's an absolute savage and most people are going to want him. Uh, but other than that, that's fine because I'm going to show you some really great replacements. I'm going to show you guys that are great power backs, great speed backs, and uh, great guys that do a little bit of both. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. If you guys want to hit the like button for me, I'd really appreciate that for putting in this hard work to find these guys, to pass them on to you. First up, we got a uh, an ultimate budget beast here. It's an 80 overall Jordan Howard. This is a guy you can pick for free uh, when the game, when you first start your mud team. So um, I didn't think that a lot of these core league cards were that great. A lot of the freaking core league cards were that great. But, uh, looking at it again, Jordan Howard uh, core lead, his trucking is one of the highest truckings uh, in the entire game right now. So, and I hear they're upgradable too. I don't know if that's true. Uh, right off the gate with 82, um, his stiff armor, his ball carries and stuff like that are all pretty good too. His carrying is pretty good. So, and a really good power back. He's not going to be able to get outside too great with an 81 speed. Uh, he might be okay though um, in his accelerations and all that. But um, like I said, he's free. Next up, we got the gold Thomas Rawls. This is a really good Madden back and has been for a while now. Uh, 79 overall, so he's not quite an elite. So people aren't going to be paying attention to him as good. That 78 truck again is once maybe like a top 15, top 20 trucking right now in the game. But he's also got speed to boot, which is not something that not a lot of guys can say uh, out of the guys I've said so far. 84 speed, 82 excel. This guy should be able to get to the edge. He's got pretty decent catching stats too, which they're not, um, you know, 60 catch is actually pretty good for a running back. Uh, the rest of them aren't too great though, but you can throw to the ball and open, throw the ball in open field, and uh, he's got some pretty good ball carrier stats. And then the last power back I'm going to show is going to be Doug Martin, a gold card. He dropped a little bit, 79 overall, uh, but his A2 speed is one of the higher guy, one of the higher speed guys I can consider a power back. A2 excel, 85 agility, uh, but his trucking is a 77. That's one of the highest right now in the game. If you want a power back, these are the guys. So let's move on to the speed guys. Now, I don't know if you're still watching this video, you're one of those type of guys that like to just throw constant tosses and just you know, throw it out to your running back and screens and stuff like that and abuse speed. Well, this is the number one guy as far as speed, um, as far as affordable in speed anyway. Corey Grant, uh, he's a guy, probably a lot of people know about him. 89 speed, acceleration is not that great. None of his uh, ball carrying stats are that great. So if he gets, you know, hit, he's going down, game over. But if you get him in space or if you want a nice kick return, Corey Grant's a guy. Now, this is a guy, I'm not sure if he's really considered a budget beast because he's an A3 overall. Uh, but he's an absolute monster. I mean, he should be starting somewhere. Uh, so, you know, he's going to be a lower end elite cost wise. 88 speed, 86 acceleration, 87 agility. Uh, pretty good running stats all across the board. Um, and pretty good hands, too. Just really good catching stats, too, so you can throw them in the backfield. But um, this guy is going to be one of the higher end guys. But you might be able to get him a lot cheaper than some of your top tier back. Next up, we got a guy I know a lot of people don't know about. TJ Logan. This guy right here is a complete scat back. 88 speed, 85 excel, 88 agility. Agility is huge this year. Um, none of his, you know, ball carrying stats are good except for one, his juke move. The juke move is supposed to be back in a big way. So a guy with speed like that, agility like that, and a juke move like that, put the, do the math, put that together. He's going to be a monster. Now we're getting into the big boys right here. Tariq Cohen, this is one of my favorite cards in the entire game. He was one of my favorite guys coming out in the draft this last year. The Bears snatched him up. Go watch some college footage of this guy. They, they gave him an A7 speed, not necessarily as high as I would have liked. Um, he ran a 4-4. Uh, acceleration is 87, though. That's a good combination of speed and acceleration. But then his agility, which is where it's at. Like I said, this guy, he, they, they called him the human joystick for a reason. 90 agility, one of the highest in the game. Definitely the highest goal card. And then you got Juke Move, uh, which is a 77. Like I said, Juke Move is big this year. And this guy's got a really good one. So this guy right here might be my starting running back day one. Next up, we got a silver card, Keith Marshall. This guy spent the whole year on injured reserve, so not a lot of people are going to remember him. But he was the fastest guy in the draft. Not this last year, but the year before that. So they, Madden did him pretty good. A7 speed, A7 acceleration. Straight line speed guy. That's really all you need to know. Uh, definitely a decent guy to look out for. Next up, we got Jarek McKinnon. This guy is a straight up athlete. Small guy, but he's still 205, which is pretty good. Um, his juke move, once again, juke move is important. 71 is pretty decent, but it's all about his speed, acceleration, agility, and jump. 88 jump uh, for a guy. Not that that really matters too much for a running back, but if you split him out wide every once in a while, or he's got a... That's a ball in traffic that might help. So just, just an outstanding athlete. 60 hands too, pretty good. Next up, we got another guy who's questionably a budget beast. A3 overall, Latavius Murray. I think you're going to get this guy. He was pretty cheap through a lot of portions of last year, but he has some outstanding stats. He's 6'3", which is nice. I don't know if it's really going to help too much as a running back 
unless you split him out wide every once in a while, which he has some pretty good catching stats. But his speed at an A6 and his power at a 79 truck, which is one of the highest in the game at this point, as well as a 79 juke and a, uh, you know, he's just got really good uh, stats where it matters. A 79 juke's going to be big time this year. So um, this guy right here is going to be one of my favorite cards, I think, this year. Next up, we got the rookie Christian McCaffrey. This is a guy a lot of people are excited to use. He's got a pretty good card. He's six foot tall. He's a really good receiving back, so you can split him out wide quite a bit. His speed is 85. It's a little bit lower than I thought it would be, but his acceleration 88 is really high. Agility 89 is one of the highest. Like I say, six foot tall. He's got a decent jump, too, so he could play a little wide out, especially with some pretty good catching stats. Uh, but overall, this guy right here is going to be a really good player. That agility. Agility is important this year. If you're watching any gameplay footage, these people getting juked. Uh, the new moves for the running backs are incredibly they look incredibly hard to tackle. Another really big agility guy is Donnell Pumphrey from the Eagles. Like I said, I think agility is going to be a big stat this year. If you look at it, he's got good speed, good acceleration, A6, 88, and then agility is an 89. Once again, one of the highest agilities in the game. With a, combined with a 73 juke move, this guy could be really dirty in the open field. And then last but not least, another really good open field receiving type running back, Deion Lewis of the Patriots. That's the job he does out there for them, and that's a do job he can do for you. So 85 speed, you know, decent enough to get to the edge. 86 excel. 88 agility loads where it's at. He's also got a 72 juke move, and his catching stats are a little bit higher than most guys with 64 and a 60 catching traffic. So uh, that's a really good player to pick up. 